Hey, what's up guys, John here. I'm gonna walk you through a solution to this huge problem that we're all facing right now. And if you are kind of sitting on the sidelines looking at all the prices of just everything, food, produce, cars, uh, real estate, gasoline, everything is going up. I'm gonna teach you what you can do to insulate yourself from going through that process. Now, it's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be a great long-term viable solution that's gonna protect you and your family. I don't think there's anything more important. But before I get into that, I wanna share with you what I think is gonna happen in 2022. We're gonna see oil prices continue to rise. They're talking right now, JP Morgan, they're quoting $125 per barrel by 2022. So that's about $4 a gallon, middle America. If you live in a city, you might see $5.50 or $6 a gallon. It's unreal. But where are they gonna push those costs? They're gonna push those in transportation, in the food, the products, the goods, the car parts, uh, the lumber, everything is gonna be going up because it's gonna cost more to get it to you. So we're gonna have inflationary problems coming at levels that we've never yet experienced. And what are the big private equity companies, the elite, the billionaires, and the multimillionaires doing right now? They're running out there, they're hoarding up on assets. Blackstone, they just purchased Home Partners of America, which owns 17,000 homes. They are now saying that they're going to invest another billion dollars to purchase 4,000 homes, paying roughly 250K each, all cash. This is what they're doing. They're trying to build out Renner Nation. Now, I'm gonna try to protect you from this. Please tap that like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's gonna share this content to educate other people about what's really going on and how they can protect themselves and their families. Please hit that like button, let's begin. I believe the trend that we're gonna see happen is that we're gonna see more and more pipelines begin to no longer exist. Keystone Pipeline brought 550,000 barrels of oil a day to America, and they were recently, a judge was presented with a lawsuit suing the US for $15 billion in damages involving 21 states over everything that's circulating around the permit with the Keystone Pipeline. Now, what I believe is gonna happen is that these oil prices are gonna to continue to increase. The Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Grisham, said that this is a transitional process where we're getting off of fossil fuels. So when we're getting off of fossil fuels, what happens? We're not gonna be able to do it as a light switch going from on to off we're gonna do a gradual process, and this process is gonna increase everything around us. So the smart thing to do right now is to build out a plan to really preserve yourself and your family and put yourself in a position to where you'll never have to put your hand out asking for stimulus or for unemployment or for universal basic income, because that's what, essentially what's gonna happen. A lot of people are gonna be forced into this because Pricing is getting out of control and it's not keeping up with wages and it's nobody's fault. Well, some could argue it's someone's fault, but it's not the middle class's fault. But now they're being pushed in this corner. Now I'm gonna walk you through the solution because a lot of people are saying, okay, great, I'm sitting in all these problems. What is the solution, John? Now I'm gonna make a couple assumptions and I'm gonna really make it challenging to reverse engineer just to show you that it's possible no matter where you live in this country. Let's say that you make $50,000 per year. You know, you have a traditional job, you've been there a couple of years. You have $50,000 per year in gross income. You rent for $2,500 per month in Los Angeles. You have $10,000 in credit card debt at 26% interest, and you're making the minimum payments of about $300 per month. Next is that your take-home pay after everything, you're going to Whole Foods, and you're eating well, but you're only saving you know, $800 per month. That's it. You're saving about $800 per month, and at this rate, you're gonna end up paying about 50% on top of your credit card debt, just in interest to the credit card companies due to the four-year period that most people are gonna be sitting in to pay off that credit card debt. Now, this is the solution. So if you're sitting in all those issues right now, and you're seeing costs continue to rise, as many people would say the best thing to do is to get a side hustle, to invest in stocks, to invest in crypto, to uh, you know, quit my job and find something else. I would actually disagree with all those things. When you quit your job, you're gonna have a harder time getting a mortgage. And if you try to take on a side hustle, generally it's gonna be three to six months or nine months. 
if you're lucky to get that off the ground. And then during that whole period, you're incurring more cost and expense. And then third, people would say invest it in stocks. Well, if you're investing money and you have 10,000 in credit card debt at 26% interest, if you look at the stocks portfolio, I mean, look at just the returns on stocks, look at people's portfolios. You're not going to see for most investors over a 26% yield on their capital invested. You know, most people are 10% or 12%. I would rather pay off debt at 26% than earn 12%. So I would likely borrow money from a family member or friend, or I'd reconsolidate that credit card debt. I would get a lower rate. And if I did borrow money, I would make big payments to them every single month and greatly reduce my lifestyle for six months or eight months to get that debt out of my life. The next thing that I would do is I would get out of that $2,500 apartment and I would most likely do a house hack scenario. I would do a situation, I'm gonna pull up a deal in a moment here, in Los Angeles that you could buy, which would be less than the cost of your rent and you'd essentially be able to live for free and then I'd use that additional money to invest in my education, into a side hustle, into another business. Uh, I would take time off to you know, invest in myself by getting around other people that could maybe offer me better career opportunities. I would come up with a whole new plan. That's what I would be doing. I would not continue onto this path because what's gonna happen is that your wages are likely gonna stay the same or maybe go up by three or 4%, but everything else is going up by 10 or 20 or 30%. So essentially, the people that are living in the same lifestyle now in a year from now are gonna be living so far below their quality of life that they're not gonna be able to recognize it. So here's how you go about finding a deal and what you should be looking for and how you should structure this entire transition from renter to owner to investor to being self-sufficient. The next thing I would do is I would greatly reduce my rent, I would bring that rent down to zero. I'd bring that rent down to zero because renter nation's coming and rents are gonna continue to balloon out of control. And the smart people right now are seeing this in every city. You know, Tampa, for example, rent went up roughly 30% in a single year. What do we think is gonna happen when the deep pocketed investors are taking over the market? You think they're gonna bring prices down or up? They're gonna find ways to capitalize every which way they possibly can. So I would get out of that $2,500 per month apartment, and what I would do is I'd probably buy something like this. I'd buy something like this dumpy little duplex. It's not nice by any means, and a lot of people on social media wanna flock wealth and show how great they live and all this. Don't do that, don't do that. You live below your means for, let's just say, a year, call it one year, and then you will be able to do whatever you want. This property, for example, $535,000. It's a duplex, two bed, two bath, but it has room for an ADU. You know, I would personally probably just live in there as is. I would get all this stuff out of there, live in there as is. And then what I would do is I would have intentions to put an ADU in the back of the property, which is an accessory dwelling unit. So if this is two bedrooms each, so you have two units, two beds each, right? So you be, I would, House hack the, obviously I'd rent out the other side for, you know, it might be rent control. Whatever the rent's coming in next door, I'd use that rent, plus I'd rent out one of my two bedrooms for a thousand bucks. That would most likely cover the mortgage. So mortgage calculator right now, if you took out a loan, you put three and a half percent down roughly. So you put three and a half percent down. If you put this property under contract at 550K, it's $19,250 down. So what you could do to get that money in say six months would likely be to get out of that $2,000 or $2,500 apartment that you're in hypothetically in Los Angeles, move back with the parents or move somewhere very, very, very cheap to save that money as quickly as possible. Get a 3.5% FHA loan, and you're gonna, of course gonna have to pay uh, you know, mortgage insurance, would probably cost you a couple hundred bucks a month, but you'll be able to get out of that pretty soon. Uh, essentially what you would then do is the 19,250, you would spend you take out a loan for $530,750 at, let's just say, a 4% interest rate. So 540, 53750, and that would bring your monthly payment to $2,540, which is essentially comparable to the rent, right? And so if you're renting out one of your bedrooms for 1,000, that means the house expense, 
it's going to be 1540 then you're renting out the other unit that might bring you to zero and then if you build out an adu in the back of the property which might cost eighty thousand or maybe a hundred thousand might pull in another two grand or twenty five hundred dollars per month which is about you know twenty percent return on your money if you're investing a hundred you're bringing in two thousand bucks a month you know in four years you're basically getting your entire investment back plus you're going to have tax write-offs and then you're going to take your income from really going from a place of pulling in say five grand or forty eight hundred bucks a month to bringing in that same money plus now instead of paying twenty five hundred dollars for rent you're now keeping that twenty five hundred bucks and then you're adding that twenty five hundred dollars to your income from the adu and then you go from a fifty thousand dollar career to an eighty thousand dollar career and if you get kicked out of your job you lose your job you're still self-sufficient you can live in your house for free because you're getting paid almost three thousand dollars a month to live there right and then if food prices go up and things get out of control you have rental income you have a backup plan and then what's ultimately going to happen is this backup plan is going to give you security so if you want to get into a side hustle you want to start another business you want to do something else you have alternatives you have options and that's what the future is so focused on is having options so you can pivot now this is a duplex example but if you live anywhere else you can get a triplex or a fourplex and the numbers are the same because it's one to four units is considered residential. You could buy these properties with a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. That's the key 30 year fixed rate mortgage. Get your expenses locked in at a very low rate. So if inflation gets out of control, you're not panicking because the middle class, unfortunately, they're going to be panicking because they're not going to have their expenses fixed. So fix your expenses if at all possible because the next one year the next two years we're going to see the erosion of the middle class and that's the last thing i want for any of you guys drop your comments on this let me know your thoughts please hit that like button subscribe also consider subbing on my second channel i'll catch you guys in the next video to learn more about investing into real estate and creating passive income as a landlord click the link in the description below this video and check out my gold standard program cash flow rental blueprint